Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thank you for joining. And today we're gonna be, I'm gonna give you the tips and tricks of my project, um, of blinging this purse out. So, but before we get there, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support uh, that I can get. So anyway, I am not at all a bling artist. Um, in fact, this is my first big bling project. Um, normally I will do a small, arts and craft, paper crafting project where I use the bling to really you know, just enhance the project, um, make it sparkle and stand out a little bit. Um, if you didn't, if you haven't followed my journey, basically I won this purse. It was at a bingo purse night. It was a fundraiser and I'm super thrilled that I won. However, <laughs> I couldn't exchange the purse. I couldn't do anything with the purse. Um, and it's not really my style. It's, it's, brown and you know i love my colors as you can see so anyway um i started researching i was like okay what can i do to to brighten it i'm not i don't paint very well so i thought well i'm gonna bling it out i'm gonna make it bright by using the bright colors of the rhinestones which i absolutely love so first thing is i bought acrylic paint for leather so um you want to paint it because you're going to have gaps in between the rhinestones the color the paint what's funny is like i never realized that it was paint underneath or i mean a lot of times i'll watch a reel and i'll see that they put vinyl down um but i had always assumed they used vinyl because it was a completely blank canvas right here i have the c's that i can kind of follow but I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I didn't really think about it because I wasn't into bleaking. So basically you want to give yourself that base, right? Um, so what I did was I used Cricut, my Cricut, to do the stencil of useless because I knew that was, it was big and um, I didn't think I could freehand it. So I, I cut a stencil. I sliced it out, I put it down, and I did all my paints. And then I realized when I looked at it that, and you can kind of see right here where I haven't done the outline, it sort of blended together. So I needed an outline, so I did this. This is my outline. It's super, super small. So um, by giving the outline, I can now see each of the letters much better than I did before. And with the lights, it's a little bit hard to see right now, but um, I have pictures on my Instagram. And of course, once this publishes, I will have a blog post on the uselesscrafter.com so that you can see better pictures. Um, and you can see pictures of before and after. So um, I am using Liquid Fusion for my, oops, there we go. Liquid Fusion for my glue. Uh, it's on my Amazon um shop so the link is in the description and i'm using bling from alibaba express so i will link that as well um, it took a couple weeks to get here but they are glass uh glass rhinestones and that makes it really like shine and really clear and and beautiful so all right i'm going to show you a little bit here and then that's it i mean so my tips are let's see the acrylic paint the acrylic paint was fantastic and i was surprised you know like i said i don't bling very often i do in small amounts like a little paper clip <laughs> a little bow um so this one has taken days and hours but i am pleasantly surprised at how much i'm enjoying this um i'm not sure what i'm gonna bling next but i will i will continue to bling because it's been a very very fun project for me okay and challenging <laughs> because I ran into that hot mess up here so I didn't know what I was gonna do all right so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna bling I'm gonna do the outline right here where that green is of the S and so what I did was basically I'm gonna run a line of glue down so you should do the outline first some parts I didn't do the outline first because um, like oops let me close that up like this yellow right here because it's so thin it's one line I decided to do the yellow first I tried not to bling before doing the outline though because I knew that would mess me up but in some areas where I know it was just gonna be a single line I did it there and I did it there but I did the outline quickly afterwards so again I didn't do it too often but 
Okay, so you need a bling tool. This has wax on one end, and this is like, um, almost like the mechanical pencils, but just without the lead. So it, you can move your bling around. Um, you need one of these too. It's all on my Amazon shop. The, what this does is you shake it down like this, and the little lines, it flips all your rhinestones over right side up so that you can go in and then now pick up with your little wax piece and put down your rhinestones. So it, it's all like under $10. It's worth every penny and some. So I'm picking it up right now and I'm putting it down. So you can see while it's not fast, it's not slow. <laughs> and it definitely helps to have this. I saw someone do it by hand, which one is bananas. Um, I've seen people do it, you know, with the, with this, but without this, um, it takes a long time to, you'd be surprised at how often they're flipped the wrong way. So it's nice to just be ready to go. Um, now the outline is going to take a little bit longer than filling it in. And it's because I chose a really thin, um, rhinestone, a really small rhinestone, I should say, um, and the glue, and it's kind of clearish, and the glue obviously is clear. It's really hard for me to see like where I've laid it down, and I've already laid down that strip right there. When, so you can see my S right here, the outline of the bottom of the S. It's all outlined already. So when I go to apply the glue in here, I'm gonna put the glue down, and you know what? We'll do we'll do a little bit right now. Um, when you put the glue down, and I'll show you, I'm gonna do just this dark blue right here. I'm squeezing out the glue, and I sort of, well, I don't want it to be a gluey mess, um, and so I don't wanna say this, I don't wanna use the, this word, but I'm gonna use it. I sort of almost wanna like flood the area, but not, not where you get a hot mess, okay? But, um, I have a new toothpick. I sort of want the glue to go all the way to the edge of the of my outline so that my outline has another layer of glue kind of holding it together. Now, I did test out my purse, um, at least the C's. Um, what I did was shortly after I did the C's, I started using the purse because I knew the word useless was gonna take a long time to do and I didn't necessarily want to do it if my rhinestones were going to keep falling off. So um, none of my rhinestones have fallen off, so that's good news. All right, so you see how like I kind of, almost like a cookie when you're flooding it with icing. Um, okay, so here's my blue, and I'm going to get my rhinestone picker, and I'm just going to use different sizes and kind of fill that in. So. And you can see that rhinestone fills up almost that whole space. So I'm gonna go with some smaller ones. And kinda just fill it in. And I know I have a smaller size. I didn't dump out all my stuff, so I'm just gonna continue filling it up. And so you can kind of see like, I don't know, I'm really enjoying it and I'm surprised at how much I've, I've enjoyed doing this. Um, I honestly did not think I was gonna have the patience for it, and I was a little bit worried about not finishing the project as well. Um, but like I said, I looked forward to doing it all the time, even though it was super time consuming, and I knew I needed to finish other projects. So it is definitely um, a lot of fun, like I said. Um, 
So I need to, I'm gonna find my blue ones, my dark blue ones, and I'm gonna dump in more of, where is that blue? Oh, here it is. See, the super small sizes are still in here, and that's what I need right now. So I'm gonna dump it out, and you can kind of see like they flipped. See, it's perfect. <laughs> and it's super cheap. So, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's worth every penny. And then moving them around, you know, just to make sure that they fill up. And that's the other thing, like even if it, even if there's like a little bit of a gap, because it's painted, you're not gonna notice it. So that's, you know, it's it's important to paint it. You can't, you, you can't do this without painting it, basically is what I'm telling you. <laughs> um, let's see. All right, so that dark blue section is filled in. So you can see like filling it in is super easy. Uh, the time consuming is because I chose such a small, I didn't want this to distract. Um, I also knew I had a lot to do and some of it was kind of thin. I, if I went with a thick one, I would run into the problems down here where you know the, it will start to bleed together. So I had to go with super thin, um, so yeah. There you have it. I hope that was helpful. I hope this inspires you to do it. Um, it is so much fun and so gorgeous. So when I'm done, you're gonna see lots of pictures on the blog post. All right, I will see you guys later. Comments, questions, please post them below. And also because I'm posting this um, in mid-July, I mean mid-June, I wanted to talk about my workshops really quickly. Um, I have in person four workshops in Los Angeles, July 16th and 17th, 2022. I'm co-hosting it with Claudia from Miss Olivia Rose Shop. So if you are at all interested, it's gonna be amazing. Each workshop is three hours. It's heavy on hands-on. So that's you, your hands, <laughs> creating those projects. They're gonna be pre-cut. You don't need a Cricut. You could be someone who's interested in possibly owning a Cricut, come, because then you can see what kind of projects you can make and whether or not it's something that you wanna continue doing. If you already have a Cricut and you don't use it, come. We will show you how to use it. If you have a Cricut and you are using it and you've been following my YouTube tutorials, then you know that I'm gonna have lots of fun tips um, I'm gonna be able to watch how you do it and give you you know, more pointers. So it is, Honestly, Claudia and I spent a lot of time designing the workshops. Um, you can take all four workshops. They are not duplicates. You will learn unique things, unique projects in each one of the workshops. If you can only take one, you're still gonna get so much out of it. And it is literally for every, every level of crafter. Um, we've designed it so that you can come and it just doesn't matter. You're going to go at your own pace in a sense that you can layer it differently or you can kind of you know ask those questions limited space so the link is below in the comments or in the description and you know just check it out and if you have questions reach out to me um it, like i said limited spacing there's nothing that we can do once they sell out because we've already booked the actual rooms at the marriott the you know the, the conference rooms and so the seating's done so get your tickets before they sell out. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. We have amazing sponsors, lots of prizes. Sorry, I thought I was, gonna, I was done. Um, each class, you're gonna walk away with your projects. You're gonna walk away with a lot of materials to try. And there are also like humongous prizes like a Cricut mug press, a hat press, uh, a joy, um, lots, of, uh, lots of prizes for participating too, like just, rolls of vinyl, uh, infusible ink, uh, sublimation stuff. It, there's just so much. So anyway, follow me on Instagram 
or Facebook so that you can see all the sponsors, see what's included. It's pretty amazing. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Talk to you guys later, bye. <laughs>